One of the newest areas of work for the Wisconsin Synod in Texas lies in a tropical region in the extreme south known as the Lower Rio Grande Valley, extending from Brownsville at the southern tip of Texas, westward past such cities as Harlingen, Mercedes, Westlaco, and McAllen. All of these cities are included in our Synod's work here. Two Lutheran families, troubled by the doctrine and practice of their synod, met with Pastor Krieger in San Antonio. As a result, services were held in Mercedes, but in 1971, Abiding Savior Lutheran Church was moved to Westlaco. In the past, the work was mainly carried on by the pastors from the Houston area with Pastor Gab overseeing it. The almost 800-mile round trip was made by plane. One of the members of Abiding Savior made his car available to the pastors upon their arrival. Finally, in August 1973, these long trips came to an end when Pastor Gary Scheuerlein was installed. And so, the Synod has a church and a pastor in the lower Rio Grande Valley to better serve also the tourists from the north who flock to this tropical region every fall and winter. Many of these are making the valley their permanent home. Serving on the Texas Mission District Mission Board with Chairman Walter A. Deal and Secretary Vilas Gleski is Mr. Alfred Hildebrand, a member of Abiding Word Congregation of North Houston. Recently, Chairman Deal spoke some very significant words concerning the work which the Lord has performed in Texas using the Wisconsin Synod, its people and its pastors, as his humble instruments. One of the Texas missionaries had remarked that the Lord has been very good to the Wisconsin Synod in Texas. Upon hearing this, Chairman Deal responded, saying, I can't get over it. Sometimes I want to sit back and chuckle how the Lord ever made our small synod courageous enough to go into a big state like Texas with one man, and how he blessed it so that we were not thrown out, but rather that people came to hear and to love that word we preach. On November 20 of 1973, approval was given to the congregation by the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod Mission Board to purchase land at the corner of Mile 6 West, Westgate Drive, and West 6th Street in Westlaco. At that time, too, we were sealed as an incorporation. The Mission Board called Pastor Gary Shoreline to conduct the services. He served from October 1973 to June of 74. After this, mission status was given to Abiding Savior Evangelical Lutheran Church. Pastor Craig Weber, a seminary graduate, was assigned to Abiding Savior. He served from July of 1974 through August of 76. During his tenure, a three-bedroom parsonage with an office was built on the property. When Pastor Weber accepted a call to leave in 1976, the Texas Mission Board took the unprecedented step of calling Pastor Walter Deal to serve as their pastor at of Abiding Savior. Uh, he arrived in November of 1976 and served until his death in 1987. In 1978, the congregation was blessed to be able to build the church sanctuary where we still gather today. After Pastor Deal's death, Pastor Rupert Eckert served from March of 1998 to January 1991. He's pictured with his wife Annie and Pastor James Radloff, who came from Holy Word for his installation. Note that the fellowship gathering was partially served outside of the building. Pastor John Gertner then served Abiding Savior from June 1991 to January 1993. Health problems caused his tenure to be shortened. You may note a couple of smiling faces here, Lana Keel and Bill and Marilyn Sherrod still members at Abiding Savior today. Pastor Richard Mueller served Abiding Savior from 1993 through 1996. During his time at Abiding Savior, the Fellowship Hall was built, which we still use today. You can see Pastor Vilas Galeski, District President, preached for that dedication service. The sanctuary was also remodeled with new lighting, new pews, and a balcony installed. The balcony housed the organ for a time until an Allen organ purchase years later had the organ returned to the ground floor. The tenure of Pastor Mueller also saw a visit from the seminary chorus from Mequon and had Pastor William Gabb return to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the congregation. You can note that baptisms and administration of the Sacrament of the Lord's Supper also continued as did Vacation Bible School. 
With more events for fellowship, like music and meals, including the men making Easter breakfast, it was decided that an additional parking was required. Next, Pastor James Bolda served Abiding Savior from 1996 through 1999 with his wife Joy and family. Pastor Joel Sauer then served Abiding Savior from 1999 until 2011. His tenure and service at Abiding Savior included the dedication of new stained glass windows, uh, things like Pioneers, an active group and a pine car derby, and Vacation Bible School with support from a neighboring congregation. The church is one foundation is Jesus Christ the Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Pastor Stephen Wagenknecht was installed in June of 2012 and continues to serve the congregation at present. Oh.